What's going on y'all and welcome on in. In today's video, let's talk about Rowana and why I think you should really, really, really consider pulling for her, okay? Not just because of her awesome looks, guys. She's one of my favorite looking units, obviously, but I think she's just insanely, insanely strong and one of the best pickups. Um, I even said this on stream earlier today, boys, that maybe a bit too spicy of a take, but I think even, I think currently right now, I would even value her higher than Tamarin, who is widely considered as a uh, must-pull PvE goddess type unit, right? You all know how much we love Tamarin, how good she is for PvE. I think Rowana, while not quite as strong of like an overall soul weaver, Tamarin we would say is like a all in three units in one kind of soul weaver. She does everything. Rowana kind of excels in multiple areas, especially very, very difficult areas. And I think right now I'm going to cover both PvE and PvP. PvP, why is she so relevant at the moment? Okay, so stay tuned for that, guys. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and talk about her partner that's also on the rerun banners, guys. Just real fast, because I'm probably going to get asked about this in the comments. Uh, should you pull Tywin? Short answer, no. He's just not very good at the moment. Long answer, it's because of multiple reasons. Like, um, units like Flan kind of just do what he does better. Uh, if we want to use him as a tank, there's just way better ice units, ice tanks especially out there. Um, I guess if you he can still set up like defense breaks he still can do like the two turn thing but like i mentioned flan's probably just better overall and if we wanted a nice tank or just a tank in general there's just way way better options he needs probably a slight buff or like an exclusive equipment or something i'm not sure i don't think he has one yet right guys let me know um but i'm pretty i just haven't used him in forever or ever i can't i don't think i've ever really needed him but yeah skip tywin for sure now why guys I said you probably want to consider Rowana. There's one major reason why I think some of y'all will want to save your bookmarks. And I know, boys, I know your bookmarks might be running low. We just finished the slime collab. That was after the ReZero stuff. You, some of y'all even pulled for Ran and multiple copies of those units or artifacts, right? I know you're low on bookmarks. And I really, really think you should consider summoning Rowana. So stay tuned. Let me, let me sell you on her, all the pros and cons. But there's one major reason. Does anyone know why I think some of y'all should save your bookmarks? I'll show you right here. Unless you've been living on a rock, you know what I'm about to show. This guy that's coming out next week, Zahawk, is the only reason I think some of y'all might want to consider saving your bookmarks and skipping Rowana because she's not limited. Now, Zahawk, just watch my patch preview video, guys. I kind of discussed that. Um, I did kind of debate the title saying, like, MLK Ron, maybe? No, I'm pretty sure this is a... We probably know now it's a completely separate unit, and it's most likely going to be a red, green, blue unit. We don't know if it's limited or not. I think a lot of people do want to probably summon for him regardless regardless if he's limited right let me know in the comments below boys but um yeah i think a lot of y'all will want to save for him and he will be coming next week so that's the only reason i think some of y'all may want to hold off on summoning rwana because she's not limited but let's talk about what makes her so good and the areas she excels in okay so as you guys see above um we'll cover what makes her so good the main thing guys really is the skill too Okay, the skill 2 is so powerful, Smilegate, when she came out, had they had to nerf Abyss because she was even trivializing uh, Abyss content. They had to make a lot of bosses just immune to this kind of a healing effect, they override it. So a lot of Abyss floors will not, Rowanic doesn't work on those kind of counter attacks, extra attacks. That being said, they didn't touch it for Hell Raid. She's very, very strong in areas like Katie's. Katie's boss, guys, she's an all-star there. I can show you my Katie's team here real fast. And Katie's is super relevant at the moment because um, a lot of people are wanting to farm those uh, penetration sets or injury sets, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but y'all can see here, guys, my Katie's 13 team. If y'all really want me to make a video on this, I can show y'all so you can start farming your, your own pen sets and injury sets. But I think there's probably a ton out there, guys. Just do a quick YouTube search. Um, and you'll probably find some. But if you really want, let me know and I can I can make one. But this is a non-one-shot build, so all y'all can do something like this with a few changes. But Rowana is like the anchor. She keeps the entire team alive. She is so good there. We already know she's awesome in Hell Raid versus almost all the bosses, but especially Queen, which is one of the most difficult bosses. And we can even use her in areas like... Um, uh, what do we call it? The Expeditions, especially the Ice one, right? She has a lot of uses in PvE, especially very relevant areas like katie's and hell raid at the moment and we can even slot her into other parts i'm sure she'll, she's good in some of the abyss or the future advent stages we can even use her in auto tower if we wanted she just kind of excels in a lot of different areas especially ones at the moment that are difficult and um very relevant right for pve now the, the reason that makes it so strong i kind of touched on this for a sec but let's finish talking about it just the massive amount of health she recovers whenever there's an extra attack counter attack or dual attack and a lot of those bosses usually i think it's an extra attack or a counter attack um but yeah she's just 
she out sustains the damage and even provides a combat readiness push just standing there she is so good guys even especially on auto as well the skill three it gives a big heal and it gives revive which is kind of nice but this is not it's really just about the skill two and the skill one even less so like it's a nice healing barrier i'll talk about why this might be an annoying skill for certain rowana builds but we'll get to that in a little bit just understand guys for pve at the moment so so relevant so strong and i think a lot of y'all should really consider if even if we were just talking about pve but let's talk about what makes it strong in pvp as well especially real-time arena because unlike Tamarin, which has almost no uses for RTA guys, and even for PvP, the gimmick thing with Iceria, it's not really that strong anymore. Rowana, though, very, very relevant for PvP as well. We all we already knew that she hard counters units like Seaside Bologna, one of the hardest counters here. Um, the only way Seaside Bologna will win is, is if she sticks some unhealable from the skill 3 or lands a lucky defense break and the Rowana is not running like Stella Harpa or something. Okay, um, she if you lock in a Rowana, your opponent has Seaside Bologna. If they don't ban the Rowana, guys, it's usually a, a win for you. Most of the time, unless the Ron is on a uh, seaside blown is on a different build. Um, but she also let's talk about some other soft counters. These aren't one to one counters, guys, meaning unlike seaside Bologna versus Rowana, a rem it, it's decent because of all of rem's counter attacks. But Rowana will not be able to sustain versus uh rems that will be able to get in demon mode. Uh, she, D rem can still kill units, just be aware that it's not a hard counter like SSB. Um, another unit that is kind of tricky too, guys. I see a lot of people trying to bring Rwanda versus Bellion. While it is nice, be aware, guys, especially on like Elbrus or Counter, Rwanda can out sustain if it's on Counter set or on Elbrus. Rwanda can kind of heal through the the Bellion dual attacks or the extra attacks, excuse me, and the or it is counter attacks and the extra attacks from the skill one into the skill two. But if the unit is if the Bellion is on injury like mine here, guys, understand that Rowana will not be able to outlive a Bellion. The injury stacks up too fast and Rowana will eventually not be able to keep the team alive. OK, so be careful of injury Bellions. They will be able to outpace your Rowanas. Now, the last but the last but most surprising, I think, guys, this is one I kind of just discovered recently and I don't even have her built yet. Let me know, guys, if you have finished episode three on like car, if y'all are ahead of me. I'm proud of y'all if you are. But um, Ro Mercedes after her change in episode three guys with her upgrade mercedes is a very very strong fire unit as we all know or hopefully you should know by now unfortunately i don't have mine changed yet and, uh, and built but she's a very very solid fire mage can revive right she has some really really strong counters rowana can actually guys almost it depends on the mercedes but even strong mercedes because i fought them in emperor and legend my chat was telling me my stronger players were saying carb try rwanda versus mercedes and it's, it's an insanely good counter i didn't believe them it didn't make sense for a earth soul weaver to counter a fire mage but she does guys she will almost one to one out sustain the damage or even bonus heal like past mercedes damage as as long as your unit doesn't get one shot rwanda is a nice counter to even fire mare okay so Cesar bologna fire mercedes are strong counters and then a little bit lesser extent versus Units like Rem, Bellion, you know, units like Fairytale Tenebria. Um, she can work well versus some other of the cast, other units in the cast as well, just not hard counters, okay? So very relevant in PvE, guys, and PvP. And let's get to the best part. Her gearing and her mola priority, okay? Now, let's start with gearing. Boys, it doesn't matter. I've tested and ran her on the entire free 75 health set that you can see here, and it works just fine. We want to just have enough health where she's not dying, and we're getting the, that bonus... Um, the heal because this is scaling off of uh, the caster's health right so the more health the more we get plus it gives her survivability if we want to use her in pvp or in unit areas like katie's and hell raid where she'll be taking a lot of damage uh get get more health right but slap almost anything on her if you really like to play a lot of rta especially at the higher levels you know consider giving her some better gear like i have here this is still not even great gear but you know a little bit of effect resist so she won't get provoked or something or slight defense break broken versus no low effectiveness units um speed is kind of nice just so she, so she cycles faster into skill ones and skill threes but overall just make sure she has enough bulk especially health to survive and she'll be fine as for molagora guys i don't even have any in skill one and skill three i never found it really that important you can get it if you like her enough uh but the skill two is the main one we really want to get to plus seven if we can max it out but in the beginning, if you want to just pick up the cheap ones, that works too. Just understand for more difficult content, and especially real-time arena, she will get outpaced on heals if you don't invest a lot of molas. But this is the only one we really need, and you don't necessarily need it max, okay? Test at your own pace and see how much you really want. But it's pretty low compared to some other units. Uh, last but not least, guys, the artifact selection. Stella Harpa, I think, is best for RTA, and I think, like, KDs. It does, it's not really too important for KDs and things like that. Um... But Stella Harpa is nice. You can also use um, artifacts like for PvP specifically. I guess, uh, you know what, PvE as well. 
uh, especially in, in Hell Raid if we don't need Stella or like Potion Vial, but we can even use, um, sorry guys, I got Artifact Journal. Uh, Idol's Cheer is a really popular one, especially for PvP. This is nice too, uh, but almost anything will work guys. I just think Stella covers her, her weaknesses the best um, if we're talking about RTA, because the only reason Rowana will die if we bring her in the right situations or if her team will die is because they land debuffs like Defense Break and Healable, which case this will really, really help to stop it, okay? That being said, guys, Rowana, absolutely insane. The only reason you may not want to pull for is because it's a Hawk, but she is so relevant at the moment for areas like uh, Katie's Hell Raid and then versus some PvP units that are gaining relevancy. So this is the best time to get her. If you don't have one, really, really consider pulling for her unless you just really want to save her as a Hawk, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, real fast, this is, will probably be coming soon. If not, at the same time, I have a Spirit Eye Selene video. I did pull for her. We did pity but I'll tell you all about that in the next video. But I'll outline just like how I did with Rowana here. Is she worth your Mystic Bookmarks? I'll let you guys know what I found. It'll just be an honest review, not even a showcase. Just what, do, what does Car think if you should spend Mystics on her or not, okay? Anyways, stay tuned for that, guys. I'll catch y'all in that one. But thank you so much for watching, and uh, peace out, everybody.